Good evening, people. Hello there. Nice. Okay, welcome back to my shed. Um, the shed is getting a little bit on the colder side. You might hear some, a um, little bit of hissing in the background or a little bit of whirring. And that's my lovely two kilowatt heater. Just, just pumping a little bit of goodness into the shed. Just a little, not a lot, just a little. My name's James Smith and I run Channel JR74. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe to your heart's content. Um, been a bit under the weather this week as well. Got one of those like throats and it doesn't quite know what it wants to do, whether it wants to attack me or not. But I think, I think I'm just fighting it off a little bit. Okay, just fighting it off. But uh, we'll see, time will tell. I'm, I've got the Cardiff Half Marathon on Sunday. <laughs> I hope I don't feel any worse than this. <laughs> what is it? It's Thursday night now. I've got two days to get better. Otherwise, I'm not doing it. Anyway, um, this video is all about the recent announcement from eBay. All right. It's probably being added to a whole plethora of videos from eBay resellers such as myself, um, basically giving their thoughts and opinions on such a drastic move. And it is a drastic move that eBay have taken. Um, in this video, I'll basically break down why I think they've done what they've done, um, how I think it will go down, and what I feel the future will bring. So, watch on. So essentially what has happened is this. eBay came out on the 1st of October which is the first day of Q4 in the sort of like the yearly trading cycle, the fourth quarter, and basically said that anybody who now has a private account doesn't have to pay fees. I don't know if they've still got a paying insertion fee or not, but they certainly don't pay a final value fee. Whereas a business has to pay a final value fee and um, either a shop fee or an insertion fee. Okay, so private sellers aren't getting feed as much as business sellers and um, yeah the business sellers are basically saying well what's 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 in it for us well, what's going on here you know um, and I think rightly so as well they're um, feeling a little bit aggrieved at the moment um, I mean eBay's been around for a long time and you've got to remember how it started off it started off as a site where you could go around your house and basically, it, it, essentially, the world's biggest car boot sale is the basic thought behind early eBay. And it became extremely successful and has basically turned into the juggernaut that it is now. It is the biggest selling platform in the world with 130 million active accounts. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I think part of this is that eBay sees their sort of like their roots. They might be going back to their roots a little bit, trying to encourage more people now to actually start and then turn themselves into a business. I think that's the philosophy behind, or partly the philosophy behind, what they are doing with this announcement. But I think there's other reasons as well. So that's one argument that the eBay purists will have. But definitely, I would say, the people that work for eBay. They're basically saying, look, we're going back to our roots. We want to get the next load of people in to grow the amount of active accounts that we actually have. And there is some logic in what they are saying. And they are using that as one of the main reasons as to why they are doing this. But we've also got to mention the small but rapidly growing elephant in the room. And that elephant is the website called Vinted. I will say that in this instance, eBay had to respond. I think they're looking at the Vinted model. They're looking at how well Vinted is doing and they're thinking to themselves, we can't just stand still. Something pretty major has got to happen. 
we need, I think eBay's sole focus here is to increase the amount of accounts that they have. They're not really that bothered whether they are private accounts or business accounts. They just want to increase the amount of accounts that they have. Um, I've heard recently, or some of the research that I've done, I, I can't verify this, but I do know at the moment there's 130 million. There was some research that I did for a recent video that I put on. But whilst doing this research, I do recall that it used to be 180 million. There has been quite a few accounts lost recently. And if they have lost that many accounts, like 50 million accounts, that, that's big. That's big. Vinted have seen a gap in the market and boy, have they gone for it. Um, the whole pretense of Vinted is that you go around your house selling clothes that you don't need anymore. And couple that with the sort of like the growing environmental credentials that society now holds and the increasing awareness of um, fast fashion and it not really being that good for the environment. Vinted really has begun to take off. I hear a lot of people talking about Vinted. OK, sort of like some people in the streets. Oh, that's that's nice. You know, where'd you get that from? Now, I would say 50 percent of the people say eBay, 50 percent of the people say Vinted. OK, five years ago, it would have been 75 percent of the people say eBay, 25 say Vinted. I would definitely say that Vinted has grown recently. So really, eBay could not stand still. They had to do something. And this is what they've done. Now, I've mentioned the fact that eBay want to grow their account numbers. And in essence, this is what they are saying. They put out an email to all business sellers um, two days ago. Um, and what they said in that email was, look, by doing this, we're going to increase the amount of accounts. If you increase the amount of accounts, the amount of potential buyers for your product increases as well. The way they're going to do this for the private sellers, not the business sellers, the private sellers is that the money that they make will go into an account. Excuse me. That account will be emptied into a nominated bank account every three months, unless you make a request to empty it. Okay, so you can access the money at any time, but eBay aren't going to give it to you automatically. They will only give it to you automatically four times a year. Now, I think the idea behind this is that private sellers will sell a few things, see their account grow if they don't withdraw, and then think to themselves, oh, I wonder, what's, what, I, wonder what I could spend that money on. Is there anything, on e any, anything else on eBay that I could spend my money on? And basically look at both private accounts and business accounts. In essence, I can see the sense behind this. But it is a bit of a punishment. It is a bit of a kick in the teeth for business sellers. Um, eBay are basically saying as well that they're going to improve the returns policy. So not only are there going to be more buyers on the site for your products, they're going to improve the returns policy as well for buyers. Um, they're also saying that they tried this in Germany and it worked. Well, as far as I'm aware, nobody's known that they've been trying this in Germany. Um, it might have been a region of Germany. I haven't seen any videos of um, this, but on the other hand, I can't really speak German and I wouldn't really understand. So I haven't really made that much of an effort. But from the videos that I've been watching over the past couple of days, many people are saying the same sort of thing. We, we didn't even know that this was going on in Germany. So, yeah, strange. So it's obvious that business sellers aren't happy. I mean, I watched one video the other day and there was a guy whose turnover was five grand for the month and his eBay fees were £1,200. Now, a private account turning over that much money, 
as I said, is a limit of 300 things. So you, to turn over that much money, you would have to have quite a high, you'd have to have products with a very high markup. But I, I could see where he's coming from. It really does seem that eBay have sat around their meeting table, um, thought to themselves, we've got to compete with Vinted. So they don't have any fees. So we're going to have to set, set up a facility where we don't have any fees. I mean, Vinted at the moment does work on the pretense that you just go through your own wardrobe. Um, I've seen many videos about people having their Vinted accounts deactivated because they are selling too much stuff. And the whole ethos around Vinted is, is that you just stick to within your own house. So if you're like selling 50, 60 things a month, I think they'll start to look at your site and maybe deactivate it. All right. There, there's been many videos about people that this has happened to. But I think eBay have sat around and they thought, right, the business sellers aren't going to be happy. I think they've, I mean, they're not stupid. They're not stupid. So I think they must know this. And I think they've thought to themselves, what can we tell the business sellers? What can we do for the business sellers that isn't going to cost us any money? That's what comes through to me. Um, the, the stuff that they have said, i.e., there'll be more people to buy your stuff, and it's been proven because we've done it in Germany. That's just one country. Not everywhere's like Germany. Okay? Even though a German is a very well developed, very industrialized country, and you know, the economy is doing very well, each country's different. You, you, you just don't know. If it were something that works in Germany, might not work over here. Something that works in Germany might not work in Sweden. You, you just don't know. Um, so really, I would have preferred it if they would have tried it in a few more countries first. But they haven't, okay? And also they've said that they're going to improve the returns support. But again, they're a bit wishy-washy about that. They haven't really made out how they're going to do that. And to be quite honest with you, I've had to deal with returns before. And I actually think the present system for dealing with returns is a very good one. I haven't really had any bad issues with returns. So, yeah, again, I can see why the business sellers are particularly happy. Now, I said earlier in the video that this is one of the biggest things that eBay have done. And I personally think here they are taking a huge risk. When eBay started, its breadbasket was the people that went around their house looking for things to sell. That was their breadbasket. That was where a lot of the money came from. eBay has evolved. eBay has got bigger. I would say that breadbasket has moved into people who have small side hustle businesses, such as myself. That The breadbasket has moved. This is where eBay get one hell of a lot of their money from. And the move that they have just done, especially by forcing us to maybe open another account to take advantage of what they are offering private sellers, it seems a little bit... It does seem a little bit unfair. And I, I, it, it does seem to me that they just haven't understand this breadbasket movement. Okay, or they're trying to force it to go back. And that is such a dangerous thing to do because no business can force it. This is, this is evolvement. This is how humans react to a certain situation. And it takes one hell of a lot of people to shift something. And it takes time. I mean, we're looking at this has taken 25 years and eBay are trying to move that basket back a bit just overnight and it doesn't really work like that i believe that ebay need to incentivize the small businesses as well okay now i think i think they will understand this i'm hoping so anyway i'm hoping that there's people in ebay that are looking at videos such as this one and um thinking to themselves what can we give the business sellers? Because we do make one hell of a lot of money from them. It, it's it, it's your, your typical shed businesses like this. 
people having a side hustle, just making just a bit more money. I mean, I've said in previous videos, one of the reasons why I do this, um, the, the profits that I take from this go towards the family holidays and an ISA. That's it. Um, yes, I want to grow the business. As I said, I'm, I'm 50 now. And, um, you know, I, one of the reasons as well why I'm doing this is to grow it, hopefully to a stage where in a few years time, I can begin to really begin to mix it with my main job as a teacher. So, you know, it, it, it's difficult. It is difficult um, to actually, I, th I think eBay have left a lot of people wondering about what is going to happen and trying to predict what is going to happen. And that is because they haven't really given us all the information. I don't feel anyway. I think that they've got in mind what they're going to do to help buyers, sorry, to help businesses, small businesses, um, but they just haven't said it yet because they want to see how this pans out, which is, yeah, you, you could say that isn't a bad way of doing it, but the next 12 months are going to be very, very interesting. One thing as well, which has got my interest, is the launch today of Vinted Pro, which is basically Vinted for businesses. So it's not going around the house finding things. It is sourcing things from local areas and not really having any limitations on what you sell. You won't have Vinted having a look at the amount of products that you sell. All right, Vinted Pro is designed for businesses, and I know that there's quite a few resellers that have been that have known that this is coming out and have been waiting for this to come out. And what a time to announce it! They've they they've really timed it really really well, um, because I would say that there's a lot of people today that have inquired about opening up a Vinted Pro account. Um, there are rumblings and talks as well um, over the future of eBay and whereabouts it's going to go. Um, many resellers are mentioning Whatnot, which is a platform where you could sell things on a video. Like I could literally be in this shed. It, it, I suppose it's like a home QVC. I'll be in the shed and I'll say, right, who wants to buy this and hold up a shirt or something like that? That is beginning to be integrated into eBay. I believe it is going to be called eBay Live and I believe it is going to launch within the next 12 months. So I think what we're seeing here is the first part of quite an evolve, an involvement um, of selling within a house and reselling and you know the amount of products that you actually sell. Um, the amount of things that are purchased on the internet, the amount of commerce, e-commerce as a percentage of the whole commerce around the globe, okay, is growing steadily. All right, I, it's, it's coming up, it's, it's over a quarter now, and I think it's coming up to 30, 35%. So, you know, it's growing. There's huge potential, huge potential there. And I think eBay, ultimately have felt that the present system that they have, they can't really stand still. I believe that they feel that Vinted were going to get bigger and what they're trying to do is stop them or at least put a few obstacles in their way on their road to getting bigger. So yeah, interesting. To me, what am I going to do? I'm just going to sit back. I'm not going to do anything yet. To me, knee-jerk reactions are always the worst things to do, I feel. I feel you've got to give things time. How am I going to do this? How am I going to see whether my business is affected or not? Well, I've just had one of, sorry, the most successful month in terms of sales made, all right, the amount of sales that I've made and turnover within the business. September of this year to me was very, very good. 
So I'm always looking at the amount of impressions that my site gets. I always write down how many impressions it gets at the end of every month and record that. And I've got two years worth of data there, how many things I sell, uh, what my sell through rate is, um, you know, all, all this sort of data. So I'm going to have a very, very close eye on that data and see if anything is beginning to fall away. You can also compare it to similar times from like I can look for October now, I can compare this October to last October um, compare, and hopefully look for the same amount of growth as what I had comparing September just gone to September last year. Okay, so you, you've, you've got to analyze. You know what's happened, but you've also got to analyze. Um, putting all your eggs in one basket as well isn't a particularly brilliant thing to do. And putting more stuff on Vinted is certainly something that I've been thinking of doing. Um, I've also been thinking of uh, starting up some Shopify things and also uh, some digital products on Etsy as well because purely because I don't if I'm going to grow this business I believe it's got to be done through a whole range of platforms because what if say one day eBay comes along and shuts down my account uh, that that would be horrible absolutely horrible especially if I was relying on it more than what I'm relying on it now so yeah, at the moment, it really is a case of wait and see. But I really do feel that eBay do have to come out now, certainly within the next 12 months, for something for the business sellers as well. Maybe freezing fees for the next, you know, giving a time period that you're going to freeze fees for. Put a lot of steps there. Um, that they could maybe announce something like that. Um, I think that that would be quite well received and appreciated because recently fees, fees do seem to be creeping up. So anyway, you know, that's just my take. Many people are given their take. This is a moment in time. This is a moment in history um, for eBay to maybe have a look at how people in their little sheds like this doing a little side hustle and what eBay have helped so much to support and develop we do feel a little bit let down at the moment. Not a lot, because we don't know what the future will bring, okay? But at the moment, we just need a little something. That'll be nice. Right, that's enough of me waffling. I hope you've enjoyed this video. <laughs> Please like, comment, subscribe, uh, give your opinions about this. This this will be great, this will be great. Um, you know, in terms of you actually, you know, commenting and, um, feeding back to how you feel about this situation uh, many people are like saying that the accounts that um, eBay are going to hold for the private sellers money are just going to basically be put in very high interest accounts and the amount of interest that they get on that will basically make up for the fees that are losing mm. it needs to be one hell of a lot of money for that to happen but I, th I think at the end of the day what they're trying to do is just get back to the amount of accounts that they had five or six years ago. That, to me, is their whole driving ethos, and they're really, really serious about doing it. This next 12 months is going to be very, very interesting.